give it up one more time for that band right there. Andy on the bass, killing it. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, y'all are in, y'all are in for a Christmas treat because my guest tonight is a five-time Grammy Award winner and the best-selling solo artist of all time with more than 200 million records sold worldwide. Here to take the Colbert Questionnaire, please welcome back to The Late Show, Mariah Carey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How delightful. How just how lovely to have you here in person. Well, thank you. We we've talked before yes. in December of 2020 to talk about your New York Times number one best-selling book, The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Yes. Still ma'am. available, makes an incredible Christmas present. Thank now you. But that was over Zoom because we never we never got to actually be together. We how did not. how lovely to to sense your presence. <laughs> well, well, thank you for gracing me with your presence. Thank you. Now, but, no, a... really, really, I was. That was 2020, yeah. and it was so awkward because everybody was, nobody was in studio, so it was like. No, we were at home. No, but it was like. And then it was like, <laughs> and I. No, it's and I, and, and I, no, no, seriously, and you're like, okay, did he just ask me that or what? You know, so mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to feel the actual vibe because wow. I have to tell you that I have a very, very good friend. She's in Israel. She loves you. She is your biggest fan. Right. So can you just say hi to her? A L. <laughs> shalom. Sh- shalom. Darling. Shalom. Yes. Al. Yes. Well, here's 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 the nice thing is that now that I got you here in person, yes. you know, first of all, it's easier to get to so, know someone in person than it is over Zoom for, for one thing, because you get that sort of that micronutrient of being together. It's hard to identify what it is, but there's something special. But also, we have so little time to talk on one of these shows that what we did here at the Late Show is that the scientists up in the labs up there came up with 15 questions that are ergonomically designed to be able to penetrate straight to the soul of someone and reveal them for who they truly are in front of an appreciative crowd. So the ergonomically designed part gets to the soul, in fact? Yes. Or would that be two separate? No, same thing. The ergonomic part goes in and, like a psychic rib spreader, cracks you open. (laughs) So we can see the beating heart. My ribs have been cracked open by having twins. That's one thing. It's but, all a metaphor. But, it's all a metaphor. I understand that. Okay. But, but I don't want to scare you. We haven't met before. But here I we know. Are. You don't know what I'm like. I, I don't, you don't know I'm very me. gentle. No, I'm a pussy cat. Are. Okay. Um, so well. what I'd like to do is ask, would you be willing to take the Colbert question? I am ready. You know what? I'm, I'm ready. I actually... Is that good? Uh, hi, guys. Loving, loving, loving. Um, no, so I was, I was asked if I wanted to take a peeky. Take a peeky. At the question? As my, yeah, but I, I didn't because... I'd rather be surprised, and sure. and I'm just gonna say, can I just say, like, a you want. little disclaimer? Sure. I don't know what you're going to ask me, um, but I'm just gonna wing it, darling, because that's what I, I do don't, it. I don't Come know on. what else you to do. And, to worry about? Come and on. Even, you're if it, even if it, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even if it comes out, however it comes out, just please deal with me. Deal with me. I, 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 I can only be me. Because you are you, and you are the queen of Christmas. I, I've got a couple First of all, may I say, I never called myself the Queen of Christmas. Can we please be clear on that? That's, I never if accused others, you of that. You did not. No, you did not, my friend. But okay. others have said, like, the self-proclaimed Queen. I'm like, really? I'm going to do that? They can look up every interview I've ever done. And not to get super religious, but I was like, I think, like, if anybody would be the Queen of Christmas, that would be Mary. And then, <laughs> and then somebody else Mary. uses my quote against me. Christmas is for all. And I just happen to actually really love Christmas as because I grew up and I had kind of a tough childhood and I always wanted Christmas to be perfect and it never was. And so then when I was able to finally kind of like provide myself with and my friends and then later, now my little kids who are 11, hey, rock and roll. Um, we have the most festive Christmas ever, but like it comes from the whole thing of 
it stems from people are like, how do you write these Christmas songs and do this? I'm like, why are mm-hmm. why is it like that? And I'm like, because it's actually authentic and it came from a place of longing to have some normalcy and some you know peace and and just like a, a lovely holiday. And somehow someone would be throwing mustard at somebody else or ketchup or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. so I like I went through that and now it's um it's just I wait for it all year long all year long. So it's actually it is a real thing. So edit it how you will, but it is. Not a word. It, <laughs> Not a yes, word comes out of that. People make money off it. Yes. But one thing everybody should be aware of: yes. the artists actually make. I mean, I'm the writer as well. We we actually make on streams one sixteenth of a penny. On every stream. Yeah, like one, literally one sixteenth. I mean, what's a hay penny? Do you know? Do you know the definition of a hay penny? It's half a penny. Okay, so we don't even make a hay penny. Like, no, if you, you haven't don't. got a penny, a no. hay penny will do. That doesn't. We, we get no. one sixteenth. Wow. So I can't do the math. Get the Scientologists upset. I'm, I'm sorry, scientists. <laughs> or the Scientologists. <laughs> Somebody they can, knows better than me. All I know the, is we only make one sixteenth. Yeah. That's, you know, yeah. but that's. But sure. still, we're thankful for all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Cruise does his own math. Does he really? Yeah. I failed remedial math, so I really? don't know. Yes, I actually did. I barely graduated from high school. I heard school. you talking about that. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. still have nightmares that I didn't, actually. I don't know if I actually did, but I, I, don't, I don't really care, because I was working and singing and, and stuff. Yeah, it's all worked out. Writing. Well, I did the best I could. As far as I can tell, it's worked I'm out. I'm trying. <laughs> Number one selling artist of all time. I'm trying, I and you're not doing bad out. yourself. What? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, I only have two Grammys. Um, <laughs> So here, here, we'll start off with a couple of Christmas questions, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. Uh, Mariah Carey. Yes. White lights or colored lights at Christmas? Um, I'm going to say, is that politically correct in the way that you phrase that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to, I, as I a biracial, know. a black and biracial mix, yeah, yeah. black Irish, or, uh. by the way, that's my new liquor. Check it out. It's actually really freaking good. Your new liquor uh, is called Black Irish? Yeah. Wow. I, 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 I kind of reworked it for wow. my favor. Mm-hmm. Are you black Irish? My mother is Irish. My father is black, yeah. Oh. Was well, black, he passed away. Right. And his great-grandmother was Venezuelan, so everybody was like, she's Venezuelan. Like, it was easier for them to put me in a box, but no, I am mm-hmm. black Irish. But really, the definition is like a darker-haired Irish person. That's right. Island. I'm black Irish. OK, so now I'm black Irish. <laughs> And that's what mm-hmm. it is, and it tastes really good. And I want you to Especially know. Especially the holidays, but you can put it over ice as well. <laughs> Shameless plug. Hot cocoa or eggnog? Hot cocoa. As With a, tre- a splash of black Irish, though. <laughs> I'm for real. Work it, girl. I I'm work not even it, trying. Girl. I'm you not You can't I'm help sorry. it. You just work no, it without thinking. No, but, no, but I, really, I really, really should have brought some for you. Tree topper, angel or star? Both. How would you fit them both up there? Because I have only four one trees the in my house. What oh, do you want? I see. Yeah. How early can so. you start listening to Christmas music? Very important question. Super important. Because you know the first song every store puts on. I do not. You know what's interesting? I, so I wrote that song. Mm-hmm. I, I don't acknowledge time, so I don't know exactly. Like, I was in the womb or prior to when I wrote it, technically, because it came out in, you know, 90s. Or, uh, yeah. I wasn't around. But, um... So I wrote it, and I, I didn't know that it would last and do what it's done for me. But I don't, now I'm not really in stores, except when I go Christmas shopping, which is the only time I go shopping. And then the stores I go to are like, you know, I'm going to buy people, they want they want designer gifts from me. What do they expect? They don't expect me to go to wherever and get it. So they're like playing cool music. It's not really like the, the little Christmas ditties. So I never get to hear it out in the stores. And my friends are calling me like, I just heard you want to put it out the store. And I'm just like, oh, OK, I'll listen at home. I have my own Christmas playlist that I, I listen to. Like, what's, your, what's the top of the Christmas playlist? What do you start with? Nat King Cole, the Christmas, the Christmas song. song. Yeah, of course. Donny Hathaway and Nat King Cole, it's a tie. Wow. This Christmas and that. But you know, I like, I like a lot of them. We're going to hold it there for just one second. And when we come back, Mariah Carey will complete the Colbert questionnaire. Don't go away.